Welcome to another episode of Gaming and Performance. I'm your host, and I've returned with a part two in optimizing your Radeon GPU to reduce latency and in input and what's on screen. So let us begin. In my prior video, I explained to you some options that you need to tweak in the registry along with tweaking or disabling HDCP from within the Radeon software suite right here, and that would improve latency. I wanted to give you an opportunity to do it, see for yourself if it does improve anything or not. And since you have confirmed that it does, I'm going to give you some more information. It won't be anything after this video unless I find out something very recently. So you won't see a part three to this, but what I'm about to tell you in this video is just as important. So let us begin. Now you're going to need to open up your Radeon suite here and you want to go to gaming graphics and you want to scroll down until you see something called tessellation mode. Before I explain to you to disable it, I need to give you a little bit of history of where this come from. This mode came from a response from a developer, Crytek, who created Crisis Part 2, in which, and I'll show you here, they released a patch for DirectX 11 that raised the tessellation effect to overkill levels when there's simply no justification for it. Now, the thought was that it was sabotage to keep AMD's GPUs from dominating the charts at the time. This was done to let everybody know, hey, their GPUs cannot do tessellation at all. Back then, if I remember correctly, these were the HD 6900 series, as you see here, that happened in 2011. I'm not sure what happened after that. It's just a quick history. I'm pretty sure there might be other GPUs involved. However, this all ties in for a reason. Not only was it Crisis 2, but it was Ace Combat 6 or something like that that also had this weird level of tessellation on mountains that would basically drastically reduce the performance of AMD GPUs while their competitors, although they noticed a performance drop, wasn't as harsh as the Radeon GPU. So in response, what happened was this tessellation mode was created and its option was AMD optimized, or you can override the application settings and set it to like four, six, or completely off. And that will remove all tessellation, which in hindsight at the time, you would see no visual difference at all. It was just done to reduce frame rates. So that's why that's there. Fast forward today, it's still there. What's the problem with that? This was back in 2011, that's 14 years ago, and seven GPU generations later. It's safe to believe that after seven Radeon GPU updates that the current GPUs are capable of handling tessellation. And there has been no reports of any game developer abusing tessellation in such a way in which performance decreases drastically as a result of it. With those two things in mind, it is safe to disable this mode. Every time you update your drivers, just use application settings. Now doing this will result in a slight performance penalty. And I do mean slight, but you will gain better latency by doing so. I'm a little long-winded, but I wanted to make sure I explained to you why it's safe to disable this. Because unless there are reports of certain games using egregious amount of tessellation that simply lowers performance because it doesn't change the quality of the image. There's no need to worry about tessellation. Having said that, using tessellation mode, I found that it does seem to add odd amount of latency. When I turn it off, I seem to get better results when I'm playing competitively. If a game is using some form of tessellation, it should allow you to adjust what level of tessellation you want to use or disable it completely. So I would suggest you go that route than trying to use, in this case, the driver route in order to control tessellation because how games are working have evolved since 2011. So that's the first tweak. The second, you want to go to performance and you want to go to right here, metrics. Make sure I get it right. Yeah, it was metrics. You want to disable all tracking. I already disabled it. That means that, let me put it back up. You want to disable 
the eye here on everything. Disable everything. This was on too. This is for metrics tracking. You want to disable this too. Disable everything. You don't have to disable the individual ones in here. Just disable this. It seems like that their tracking method has changed. And unfortunately, it's not in the release notes of the driver update. They're using something different because I'm seeing perfmon in the task manager every time I use this. So they're doing something different. Not sure what. I'm not sure how long it's been, but they're doing something different. So what you want to do is disable this. And then once you've completed that, you want to go back to gaming, go back to graphics, and you want to reset shaders. I've already done it. When you reset, reboot your PC. Then you should see an additional performance uplift in latency. So I thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day.